All right, what's going on, Gun Lovers? It's Rizzo, and we're back today. We're talking about the pros and cons of buying a gun online. I just bought me a new uh, Benelli Supernova Tactical, and <laughs> I bought it online again. I'm on Gun Broker like 24-7. And I thought about it. I'm like, man, I may have bought like two, maybe three guns at the gun store the last few years, so I'm always online. It's the pros and cons to buying a gun online, so let's talk about them, all right? All right, so... For the longest time, the only way to get a gun was going to like your local gun store, you know, give them your money, get your gun, or maybe uh, hit up a gun show if the gun show was in town, or maybe doing a, a private sale. But the last few years, things have kind of opened up, and, and online sales of guns is booming, all right? Everybody's buying a gun online. Everybody. You know, in the last few years, ever since uh, COVID hit, gun sales have just been skyrocketing. So, it, ooh, love it. Anyway. <laughs> buying a gun online has benefits but it has you know a couple of a couple of drawbacks so let's talk about them all right all right so first let's talk about how you buy a gun online now despite what all of the the anti two way the anti gunners say you can't just buy a gun online and they ship it directly to your house that is not happening you buy a gun online you uh you pay your money and what you have to do is supply them with an FFL where they're going to ship the gun to. All right. So it's got to be shipped to an FFL and you got to provide that information when you buy the gun. So they'll ship that money to your FFL. You'll go to the FFL, uh, uh, pay your transfer fee, do your background check. Then you can take the gun home. So you're just not buying a gun online and they're shipping it directly to your house. So don't, don't believe all that anti-2A stuff. All right. There's no gun show loophole. All right, so let's talk about some of the pros of buying a gun online. The first one is you are not limited to just going to the gun show, to the gun store, right? <laughs> or the gun show. You know, you, you got options. You know, used to be, you know, like in my area, it's a couple of gun shops around, but they hardly ever seem to have, you know, what I'm looking for. Let's say if you're looking online and, and back in my day, looking through magazines and you see, uh, you know, what you want. And you know you got to go around to the gun store to try to see if they got it. You know, if you request to see if they can get it. And they may be able to get it sometimes and it may take time. But, you know, things have, have uh, you know, progressed pretty nicely lately. But still, going to the gun store to get what you want, you may not always get it. I think the closest one, does we got the Ventures Outdoor, but that's like 45 minutes away, which I don't mind driving to go get the gun. But I got a lot of them closer. But they're mostly ranges and don't have a lot of options on guns. So the best thing about um, being online is that uh, it just opens you up to a lot of options rather than just your gun store. Yep. So, you know, you can buy anything you want new, um, use. All you got to do is go online. Um, plenty of sites, uh, PSA, uh, Brownell, SIG, Gun Broker. I'm on Gun Broker like 24-7. You know, I'm always bidding on something. But even on Gun Broker, you know, you can... Um, bid on an item, uh, you might get a, a good price. You can um, just go ahead and buy it. You know, sometimes they'll have a, a set price. So the, the internet option, the online option, and you can go on there and find exactly what you want and get it. You don't have to go to the gun store and see if they got it. You'll see that they have it um, online, buy it, ship it to the FFL, pick up your gun, you're good to go. All right, so the second pro is pricing um online pricing is a lot more competitive than that you know your regular you know your um local gun gun store usually at the local gun store you know they're you know selling guns they're you know got a lot of other options they're doing a the range it's a lot of overhead so they may have to you know charge you a more um expensive price for your gun whereas online you know some of these people don't even have a regular brick and mortar shop you know they're on not online retailers not a lot of overhead so they can offer you a competitive price and then you know with the boom like i was saying how many people are out here buying guns online they got to be competitive so a lot of times you know you can get a better price online than you can um in your um in your um local gun store but the main thing i like about it is being able to shop for a gun anytime anywhere i could be you know on my phone shopping through you know gun broker whatever checking on bids you know if i see a new sig i like i could just go on there and 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 um uh, see when it's gonna come out pre-order whatever it is you know psa 
got plenty of guns on there. So that's the thing I like about it. That anytime, you know, you can just always on there looking, you know, um, gun broker, I may put something on watch. I may bid on something just to kind of see, you know, what, what the prices are and what the prices are going to be. So online shopping is great because you can do it at three in the morning. You wake up. <laughs> online look at a gun some of you might not be as crazy about buying a gun as me but yeah being able to just pick and choose when you want to buy your gun that's 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 perfect for me all right so we talked about pros but there are a lot of cons um and not a lot but and the main one is buying a gun sight unseen not being able to touch it hold it feel it shoot it you know basically you go and buy uh the description or whatever they have online and the pictures and sometimes you know it may not even be a picture of the gun that you're buying you know if they got a bunch of p320s they're just going to take pictures of one and you're not even getting the one that you're seeing pictures of so uh, and that's the main thing uh one thing you can kind of do to overcome that maybe is let's say you're going to get a, a 320 um like you say you're going to get the uh axg um maybe just go to the gun store see if they got it there and shoot it there or if you know got a friend family member somebody that's shooting the same type of gun you you're getting but yeah that is, that is kind of a a con you know buying a, <laughs> nothing worse than buying a gun online and you get to the ffl and pick it up and, and you hold it and you don't like it uh, that's not good so yeah not being able to to hold it uh or, or even see it uh before you buy that is a con of uh, buying a gun online I said sight unseen and also, yeah, holding it. Cause, I mean, it, it's just so important to be able to, you want to shoot a gun before you buy, just to kind of see how it feels in your hands, you know, how well you can shoot it, how comfortable, you know, is it. So, um, yeah, that's, that's, those are cons, you know, not being able to see it before you buy it and not being able to, to shoot it or even just to even, you know, kind of hold it and see, you know, can you get a good grip on it or whatever? Yeah, that's that's eh, that's a con. Now, now, one thing that could be considered a con, um, we were talking about earlier how um, the prices online are better; they're a lot more competitive. But also think about the fact that when you buy a gun online, you have to pay. Uh, sometimes they'll charge you a tax. Uh, sometimes they'll charge you shipping, depending on where you buy it from. Um, um, and then you know you got to ship it to your FFL, so now you got to pay the FFL fee. So you just kind of kind of when you when you're buying online take into account um how much the tax is how much the shipping fee is and how much your ffl is going to charge um if if you're buying a gun and the gun shop version is maybe 50 dollars more expensive than what you're buying online but by the time you pay taxes and shipping and ffl fee uh transfer fee if it's more than 50 dollars it may be better just go and buy it at the uh at the gun store so just kind of take into account um those things and also sometimes um if you're buying from like a private um online uh, uh retailer uh somebody's doing that they may charge you too because it has to go to a ffl so they have to take it to their ffl so sometimes they'll add in the price of taking it to their ffl will be added to the cost of the gun so yeah just pay attention to kind of shipping and things like that uh may be added so yeah, con you know, I, I've never really had to do this, but I did when I was doing research on this. Had somebody say that um, if you have a problem with the gun and need to, you know, take it back or something, um, that would be an issue. Uh, if you buy it at a gun store, you can just kind of take it back and say, hey, you know, here's a problem. But, you know, if it's online, you know, now you're talking about, you know, having to ship the gun back to them. And you, know, you got places, um, UPS, FedEx, you know, those, those you can't just drop a gun at UPS to send back. Has to go back through the FFL. So, um that could be an issue now um and, and this is kind of like i said nothing i've, I've ever had to really deal with but sometimes dealing with some of these smaller retailers um you hear horror stories about you know shipping you know being late you know you may be a week a month before you get your gun you might not get it at all so just kind of pay attention to if you're buying a gun online um particularly if you're doing like a, a psa or something like that uh palmetto state it usually won't be a problem but if you're on gun broker uh um everybody there is not a, a big you know seller so if it's not somebody you dealt with before you know usually you know when you go on you pay online but I've had times where, you know, I bought a gun and, and next thing you know, they're like, okay, call in with your credit card information. Well, that's really technically not how it's supposed to get done. So, um, you know, it may be shipping, you know, you hate to buy a gun online and then you're waiting two, three, four days just for shipping information to show up and it's like, it's ship, 
but they ain't really ship. They just made a label. So just kind of um, if you're shopping um online, just kind of deal with uh, reputable uh dealers. And if it's somebody you haven't dealt with before that haven't heard before, look at the reviews and see what the reviews say. You know, you get a lot of you know um late shipping, no tracking, and things like that. Those are maybe some people you want to uh, stay away from. So just if you're buying a gun online, just to make it not a come buy from reputable dealers. All right, so the, the biggest con of all may be, what if you don't pass that background check, all right? So let's say you go into the gun store to buy a gun. Um, you don't pass the background check for whatever reason. They just put the bad gun back on the shelf. You going home about your way. If you bought the gun online and <laughs> you go to pick it up and you don't pass that, uh, you don't pass that background, now, now you kind of stuck. Because see, now you need to send the gun. The FFL doesn't have to help you. No, but now you got to send the gun back. You got to transfer it back to them. You don't even know if the seller's going to, what the refund policy is, you know, if there's a restocking fee. So, yeah, uh, <laughs> there could be many reasons for not passing that background check. But, but yeah, buying a gun online and not passing a background check would be um, difficult. That's why I always recommend the folks to get their um, concealed carry license. Cause I know down, down in Georgia, you got your concealed carry license. You don't, you know, you've already taken the extensive background check. You don't have to t uh, take one when you go in to, uh, to buy a gun. So, yeah, that, that could be the biggest one of all is not passing that uh, background check. That could be a uh, killer. And I guess, you know, I'm, I'm going to throw another con in there because supporting your, your, your local gun shop is always a good thing. You know, I, I know they don't make a lot of money uh, overhead off of buying guns, you know, so even if you're buying your guns online, you know, hit your range, you know, get your, um, you know, scopes or your red dots or you know buy, buy ammo just you know don't yeah support your local gun shops they out there sometimes they may be struggling so yeah buying a gun online is taking the money from the local gun store but yeah you still want to support them in any way you can all right all right so those are some of the downsides but in my opinion the pros outweigh the cons just considerably all right so just take a few things um uh keep a few things in mind when buying a gun online all right, so if you can, you know, if you're buying a gun online, try to get um, one at the local gun shop. Maybe a friend have to kind of shoot that gun uh, before you purchase it so you can be sure that it's one that you uh, that you like. Shop around for the best price, you know, and just make sure when you're looking at it, um, let's say if you're on Gun Broker, see some people will charge a 3% credit card fee and check what the shipping costs. Because everybody, some people, um, a couple on the way have free shipping. Um, some may charge and it'll be more, you know, more for a shotgun than a handgun so just you know pay attention to what the shipping cost is because it may be something you know you get that shotgun for twenty dollars for twenty dollars <laughs> for two hundred dollars but then they charge you sixty dollars for shipping you know that's that's the big difference you got to pay what twenty five to fifty dollars whatever for your uh, transfer fee you pay three hundred dollars for that twenty dollars shotgun so shop around find the best price i like to um a lot of times i'll bid on a gun broker um, and I'll, you know, let's say if I see a gun and it's most unwilling to pay us 400, I may bid, you know, 375. And if somebody passes it, oh well, that's good. And if not, I'll get it for what I got it for. Shop around, find the best price. If you see um, a couple of uh, the same gun, let's say you want to get a Smith and Wesson uh, uh, MMP, you know, maybe bid on a few of them and just see kind of which one, you know, is working out with the best price. See which ones has the. Um, 0% credit card fee and things like that. So just pay attention, shop around. Find out, um, make sure you have an FFL that's gonna do the transfer uh, before you buy the gun. So um, go to your local um, gun store, see if they, uh, make sure they have, uh, they do FFL transfers. Um, find out what the uh, what the fee is. And a lot of times when you buy that gun online, they're gonna want that um, information. So um, you can either, um, <clears throat> A lot of times you can you call them in and, and give them the information and they'll send it in or email or whatever it is. But the person, the FFL, they're sending the gun has to have the FFL information before they actually mail your gun. So just make sure you have all that uh, stuff down pat and ready to go uh, before you uh, buy a gun online. If you're dealing with somebody you haven't dealt, dealt with before, um, check out their reviews and just kind of see. If they're reputable, if they're a shady character, all right? So just check check all that stuff out before you buy it online. Also, um, just check and see, you know, um, if you can, 
um, especially if you think you may not pass a background check, how, you know, what the, their policy is on returns, if you have a problem with the gun, or if you um, fail that background check, you know, find out what the procedures are as far as uh, getting that gun back to them uh, beforehand. It's always a great idea. The last thing is just kind of keep uh, keep track. Usually um, when you buy a gun online, that um, tracking information is there within a day or so. Um, keep up with your tracking information um, so you can know um, when it gets to the FFL so you know it's not sitting there for a day or two. And don't, don't see when you see the FFL has been delivered. Don't go directly there because they have to, you know, add it in and everything. So wait for your FFL to call and let you know that it's there um, before you go to the uh, to the gun store. All right, so we talked about it. It's great buying a gun online. A lot of pros, couple of cons. So uh, if you found it insightful, uh, hit me up, leave a comment, um, like, subscribe, do everything. You know, we're a small channel. We're trying to get bigger. So we're just trying to give you some information out here. All right, so. Um, we'll talk to you guys later. Until then, you guys stay safe, shoot straight, keep training. We'll talk to you later. Peace out.